Well, hi there, uh, boys and girls. I guess we're only going to be talking to the ones, uh, the, the, the people, the ladies and gentlemen that, um, that can afford this thing at 150 grand or 40 grand. Mm -hmm. But um, I will tell you, um, this, is, uh, this is a lot more interesting to me from a technology standpoint um, and from a, uh, from a standpoint that, uh, that this is uh, Mercedes entering a market that really I was, I was hoping they'd move. Uh, I didn't know how they were going to do it, but, uh, but this is their first entry that I think is really worthwhile. And so Sue and I are going to uh, take a little look at it and see what we think. Um, we haven't really looked at this too much. I walked by it uh, a little while ago, but that's about it. So um, I'm going to let Sue start off. Well, I actually just I like the way it looks. Um, it's rather sleek. It looks fairly aerodynamic, smooth, elegant. Unlike some of the other, uh, especially Tesla, there's like zero chrome. This has got some chrome detail, I think, evident of a Mercedes brand. I like all the branding images on it. I see the wheels, I see the grill, and I like those little, little uh, three pinwheel uh, icons yeah. on the grill. I think it's sort of like a, di a modern diamond plate kind of effect. I kind of really like that. I think that's really awesome. Oh, one thing for sure, you're going to know that um, uh, the Mercedes, uh, this is a Mercedes, it's got its symbols everywhere. Yeah, I like yeah. that though. Well, I, um, as we all know, um, I'm not a big fan of Chrome. Um, I probably would have stopped at the logos and um, a lot of this other stuff would have been uh, missing. I, I understand the uh, uh, the styling. I mean, I understand the get the thin uh, chrome wisps that go all over the place and that kind of folds into the uh, into the wheel and the surround uh, around the uh, around the glass uh, windows and whatnot. So I uh, the one thing I do like is it's consistent, um, but I. Uh, I think it's a little more ostentatious than what I would probably want to have. Um, it's, it's got a Mercedes. lot going on. What? Yeah, it's a yeah, it is. It's elegant. It's yeah. classy. Well, it's got to have a little bling, don't you think? Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. Um, I did sit in this already, and I will tell you that uh, the back seat's really comfortable. Um, and I think that this is going to be probably the new standard for. Uh, luxury uh, limousines. I, I will tell you though, there's some stuff here that I really like, and one of them is kind of stupid, but we've been trying to push this idea for a long time. So this, this uh, hood, bonnet, whatever you want to call it, you can't get it off. You can't open it up. It's uh, strictly for maintenance, and Mercedes doesn't want you to get into it. So that means that you're not going to lift the hood to, to add windshield washer fluid. But look at this. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Now this, this is something that we've been pushing our customers for 30 years, literally 30 years. When ITT Automotive was still around, we thought we had a great idea. We were going to make it so that you'd had something like this and it would pop up and you could pour the washer fluid without lifting the, the, the deck lid yeah. or the, well, the hood. Uh, we could not talk anybody into it. Good. So I really like this. And you know what's really good about this? First off, I don't have to take the jug and try to lift it over into the bonnet right. area. This one, if I spill it, it goes onto the ground. I don't have to worry about getting my car all full of the blue stuff. I, that is just a cleaner execution. I really like yeah. that. This, so it's funny, little teeny things like this mean a lot more to me than a lot of chrome. So I love this idea. I, uh, I actually, we, we even tried patenting, well, it'd be dead by now, but we even tried patenting it and we couldn't talk anybody into it. Even for free, they wouldn't go for it. The other thing I like is the way you open the doors. This is kind of cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that swiping motion. Um, again, there's a lot of bling here. A lot nice, of nice lighting, yeah. nice branding. Yeah, nice. I like yeah. that. 
Uh, here, I'll tell you what. Open the door and then you can get in. <laughs> Try it out. <laughs> I don't. I, I haven't. This is my first kick at I'm the cat. I'm assuming this ambient lighting we can change as uh, as our emotions Well, actually, dictate. it must because uh, before I, it was blue, now this, it's red. So this is my first time looking at this. I'm just guessing. Well, I saw it a few minutes ago and it was blue inside. Now it's red inside. So is maybe. That, is that actually light up or is that just the way that, that no that's light that up. is really cool though that looks like it glows i like that too that's yeah. really nice i'll try it out i already sat in the uh, front seat and the uh and the rear so when i was checking out the ga the gaps oh, are wood? obviously yeah you know what i actually like the the seat adjustment here yeah. rather than trying to fish it uh, you know between the door and the seat while you're yeah. driving I, that's much more convenient i really do like that well, um, oh, I didn't. The deal. I've never been in this car, so this this uh, well, pillar, here's the something, pillar screen is here's, here's something incredible. you might want to try. Push the start button. Oh, here you gotta have the door closed, I think. But anyway, push the start button. I okay, do love now. that pillar to pillar screen. I'm assuming it's not one continuous. I assume there's yeah. I think it's just sections, one. I, I think but, it's one chunk of glass with three but, screens yeah. in back of it. Yeah, I like that. I like I like that very did much. You, uh, did you oh, feel Oh, it's got the... heads-up display. I didn't, right? That's what that is? Yeah. What? Cool, heads-up <clears throat> display. I didn't notice that before. I didn't notice that either. Yeah, I really think this is special. It's like this Alcantara again. Yeah. The nice uh, luxury. Oh, you like that? Yeah, I Lean love it. Lean your head it. back into the pillow. Oh, it's got a headrest pillow, so... Oh yeah, that's nice. It's a, a an extra comfort. Yes, that's yeah. kind of nice. I thought it was interesting. Yeah. I, I the only time I've ever seen anything like that is in a luxury uh, aircraft. Uh, they they'll put those in. Yeah, yeah. this is. Um, yes, this is quite a beautiful interior. Actually, have a look at the seatbelt. I never know. No, no, okay. no, no, not that part. The, this the part hat, here? The catch. Oh, it's it's lit, right? Yeah. It's lit so you can see it in the dark, which is always a problem, well, right? Well, not only that, it's pulsing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's really good. That's really good. That's the Lexus look yes. with the uh, little butterfly wing things. I, I Yeah, this is... Yes, I love this wraparound cockpit type of feel. Um it, it makes you feel special. Yeah, special. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, well, it is. Um, it's really nice. Really nice. Really nice. Well, I looked at a couple of things that um, I would never dream of doing because they're so damn hard. But if you have a look at this French stitch coming up here and then tracking yeah, straight into it, the instrument panel. And the alignment panel, is beautiful. Oh my God. That's really good. I can't even imagine. Uh, I would never give the uh, the assignment to try and do that. Um, the other thing I like, again, back to little things, is I love the, um, the speakers. Um, these little uh, perforated, um, probably stainless uh, speakers, I, I think... I yeah. think there's a, there's a couple of things here that I really do like. This reminds me of the Rivian has something like this speaker, but yeah, but, but this not, is a this yeah. is a brand speaker. I don't know this this uh, I don't know that brand, but um, it's beautiful. Yeah, like I said though, uh, this is not my kind of car. I I would never dream of uh, uh, buying one of these. Um, uh, this is, uh, I will tell you something else that I, uh, that, that I, I noticed. Okay, so uh, the front seat and whatnot, there's a lot of razzle-dazzle there that probably I don't need. The one thing, though, like I said, <coughs> um, this, is, um, this is definitely uh, luxurious back here. Um, as a, somebody who uh, would go to the airport and and uh, probably look for uh, for a ride to get back to uh, to wherever I was going, whatever customer it was. This would be great. Uh, this is better than first class in a, in a uh, in a jet. So first off, this is probably more. I've I've been in here for a long time, but this is probably a little more comfortable than the uh, than uh, than the plaid rear seat. Um, I would say that. Um, 
this is a, as good as maybe better even than the lucid air um, rear seat um, certainly it's easier to find the, uh, the seat belts I must say the, uh, the the lighting seems to help out but it's just got a lot of stuff I feel kind of like a little too much bling for me um, I like the uh, the idea of the two uh, sunroofs yeah um i don't know what kind of, are you sure that's wood <coughs> it, it looks like wood hmm. i say yeah i say it's real wood it knocks like wood yeah it probably is anyhow <coughs> anyhow the um like i say uh i i like it a little simpler than uh than this i i love the interior of the uh of the like the instrument panel or the instrumentation on the on the on the plaid and the Rivian. I, I like the Rivian. It's got a little bit extra stuff, but this thing here that's lots of stuff going on. I, I'm not a fan of all these buttons. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I uh, I kind of like just going like I've, I've gotten into the mode now where I just hit the the center of the. Uh, that center section on the uh, on the plaid or the three or the Rivian, and I've got I've got everything I need. Um, it's fast, it's easy, lots of stuff. There's a lot of stuff to look at here. Take there me a is, week just to try and figure the, it the out. The most important things I think uh, that are shown on that center display. I need access, quick access to my HVAC controls. They're right there. If I need mm. to adjust my seat, it's handy on the other side. I, the most important things you use every day, I think, are at least within hand's reach without too much button finding. Mm. So it's in your visual range. I like that. So I'm going to assume that the, the rear seats fold down. Let's, I want to check it out. Okay. Wow, no. that's pretty snappy. Yeah, I know. This is a, uh, wow. So this color interior, yeah, to be really careful, right? Yeah. Shall I guess on how we open this up? Or do I have to? Oh, hit it's a it? Mercedes. It's so, going to be the same way. Ah, I never knew that. Now that's a trunk, though. There's a lot wow. of space in here. Put a family of five in there. Okay. Hmm. You don't need much more than this. I mean, no. holy mackerel. Quite With big. those seats down, you could put a yeah. surfboard in here. Yeah, it's pretty big. Well, I do like this. Luxury, though. That's a luxury trunk, so to speak. Yeah. That is really nice. Well, Lots of space. Huge. Lots of space. I'm assuming both sides fold down, too, right? Yes, of course. Yeah, of course. Full, flat yeah. folding, yes. Okay. Well, they're not flat. Well, they're, close um, to it is, you know. But uh, this is, there's a tremendous amount of room in here. I'm not sure it kicks the daylights out of most of the uh, uh, most of the trunk space. The only other thing that's as big as this is like the plaid has a huge trunk as well. So if I move the headrest. Right, I can get it to go down just another inch and a half. So oh, yeah. I think if I move each one of those, I could get this to go just another another couple inches down. So that's helpful. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Charge port, yes, okay. Yeah. I got used to the Rivian in the front. I prefer that now, so yeah. I don't have to back in, but um, most people are doing a rear charge station, so I'm well, getting used to that too. I like the uh, I like the Rivian. I do like the front as well. as well. Jazzy tail lights, I kind of like that. Oh, huh. see, I've gotten used to the Rivian as well because it, you know, you magically push the button, it opens and closes. <clears throat> I would have guessed. Uh, well, you're going to have the servants, uh, you know. <laughs> You're gonna have this, <laughs> the servants charging it, I'm sure. This is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, 
I'm looking at all these. So I got green and red and orange um, lights, and then the red turns into like a purple kind of a thing. Yeah, this is um, a little too razzle dazzle for me, but yeah. But I am positive the ambient lighting could be turned off. So yeah. that's a that's an option. So um, if you turn off all the ambient lighting, and I mean, I actually I think it looks quite elegant. I think it's fairly representative of a of a Mercedes product. I like it. Okay, well, um, don't don't get me one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I think <laughs> I think we have enough. <laughs> I think we can see now that uh, Sue's tastes and mine are quite the same. Um, I I like this as uh, something that would pick me up and take me to uh, from the airport to wherever I'm going or from wherever I've been to the back to the airport. Limousine. I like that. that. I yeah. like that limo kind of feel. Um, it's much better than uh, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> one of those taxi cabs where somebody's puked in it or something like that. This is really, but really kind not of not your cute. everyday driver. You don't see this as an everyday driver. No, I, this is not, not my for you? kind of car. No. Well, I like you? it. I think, well, I just, I happen to like it. It is s extremely spacious. Yes, it's it is. It is a very large car. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it would accommodate very comfortably a, a family of four or five. It's, yeah. it's really, it's really quite a large vehicle, even though it's a sedan. So... I actually think it's highly practical. Yes, a little pricey, but it's a Mercedes. I come to expect elegance, performance, and beautiful execution like this. So I think they did a good job. Well, they've, uh, they've got the XX that's coming out as well, which is like rocket ship fast and um, mm -hmm. extra range, extra everything. Um, you know, if, um, if, if I was gonna really want one of these things or whatever, um, I'd be looking for something a little less uh, blingy, ostentatious, whatever. If I could turn all the lights off, even then, uh, I don't know if I, I'm not warming up to that immense um, instrument panel. The uh, screen? Yeah, yeah, the screen all the way across. Uh, it's a nice idea, I guess. I think um, from a passenger perspective, Oh. I kind of liked it from a, from when you're sitting like in a Tesla. So you're sitting in the Tesla as a passenger yeah. and the screen is tilted and biased to the driver, which is great for you. But when you're sitting there and you've got nothing to look at in the Tesla, because it is an austere interior, yeah. this at least gives me something to look at as a passenger. So <laughs> something to play I with. mean, this is like a full, <laughs> a full, like, you know, yeah. family vehicle experience. It's like it's, everybody's got something probably. So, okay, so yeah. so you were saying that you didn't like it because you know uh, I have the mirror or the uh, the screen is tipped toward me. Back in the Tesla. Now yeah. now look at what you've yeah, got. Yeah, at least I have something to do and look at. That's awesome. So I can I can mirror that navigation, so I can help you go where you well, want to go. Well, this definitely would be but, you know yeah. helpful because I mean looking all that way from there to there. Yeah, would that's be, right. I mean really. <laughs> Yeah. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> what else we got? I assume that's home. So, so we got the navigation. We got the. I can do the radio, the oh, phone. phone. We got media. Okay. So, um, oh, we've got oh, comfort, comfort here. What's so, comfort? what's comfort? Oh, we got hot. We got massaging. And oh, massaging. see, sweet. You do you have that on yours? I bet you do. I don't know. I bet, yes. Somewhere I bet you can control yours too, because this would be, now this is something you would like, right? Yeah. And I'll there's that ambient back. lighting, which, you know, I would personally just turn off because I, I don't want anything, but I don't know how to turn it off, so maybe you just turn it off. No, I don't know how to turn it off. It's okay. But there's the massage. It's working and it's heating. That's sweet. Well, how do I get my seat? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe both are done. Oh, no. Okay, so how do I find this thing? Screen, what? The it, home in the center screen. Right here, yours. Ah. Yeah, you have all the same settings. Oh, there you go. Comfort. Oh, comfort setting. Nope. Maybe I went Sorry. too fast for you. Oh, I have. There you go. You can do massage. It's, you can do it's kind of like. Uh, you can now you can adjust it. Things. Yeah, this is like. This reminds you of being in the airplane, you know, like <laughs> just keep hitting things. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of buttons. There's there, a ton there. of things. That I got info. What do I got? Energy flow. So I can see what the state of the vehicle is. Okay. That's good. 
I like that. It's humming up a storm here. Oh, that's because my seat is on. No, my seat's on. Yeah, because it's massaging, yes? And air quality. Seat kinetics. Oh, mm. look, at we got air quality. So we have a, a, a air filtration system in the vehicle. Mm, I've oh, also, and there's uh, that, fra there's the, so ionization and fragrance. So here's where you can, so. How do you do that? I'm assuming there's something, what's it say here? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I see. It can suck in that exhaust fume oh, from come the on. truck ahead of you. That's very good. Yeah, it's got it all. Oh, there's a thing. There's a. Here it is. Oh, okay. Do you like this smell? You can smell that. Uh, smells so your like car always smells aftershave or cologne. Beautiful. Or so we put that, and then you can make your car smell nice, right? So. You can, oh, how much smell, little, a lot. Recirc, so it, okay. Huh. I like this. I can always see this. Wow. Man, you're right, Sandy. There's a lot of functionality in this car. Just a ton of functionality. You can play with this thing all day. Um, <sighs> oh, oh they're they lights. are lighter. Okay, they are lights. they're lights. They're mm. lights. Okay. So no infotainment. So no in the infotainment. Back, but... Hmm. That's uh a lot of clicking to get the lighting to where you want it. I don't even know how you'd put infotainment system in here. You uh, wouldn't really. It would be something that would have to be, you know, in the back of the mm. seat if you wanted it. If you did want it, I guess. Well, actually, the only thing I'd want in here is that little tray that folds down for the Mercedes, or, or sorry, not the Mercedes, but the uh, Bentley or the Rolls Royce, so I could. What's the uh, uh, what, have what my does the uh, let's look at the armrest then in the back? I mean, I'll fold the seat up. Can you get it? It's heavy. What, what? Do you got back here? Let's see what you got. That's all you get. Is that what is that? Um, I give up. I oh, oh, yeah, you know what it is? Your phone, your phone st your sticks in there. in there. Well, maybe that's it. You bring your own infotainment in. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Well, you can control the noise back here and the heat, I guess. Yep. Air vents. Standard back here, I think, in many ways. Not sure how functional that is, but it's it's well. It's clever, here's the thing. But... Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Anyway, the uh, the thing uh, about um, having a limo is that usually you want something to um, entice the the back seat people, um, and I don't see that here. I can't remember uh, what the what the Lucid had, the Lucid Air, but it's certainly comfortable back here. It is comfortable. There's no question about that. Yeah, this is like uh, you're gonna sink into this and and go to sleep. How'd you get it to go on? This light here. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and it's got you pushing buttons like all all over the place. Well, at least I can control my side. You can control your side. Oh, I can control both sides. See? Yeah. I don't Oops, know. Sorry. I just did it. There you yeah. go. Yeah, but I can control my own side, so that's kind of good. Yes, yeah, so you it's seem like... to be a control person. I I didn't want to say anything, but first, it, I want to control this over here, and I can't see everything. So, that what you're do you think of at? this? Because I don't think this is going to work. I think this. Uh, I didn't want to say anything well, because when I saw it, it a few seconds ago, go. I, don't, I, don't, I do I, uh, don't know, but I know that this. Um, uh, this doesn't. How does this work? I don't even. You can. Where does the hanger? I don't get the. How do you use this? Maybe that's to just hang up your shawl um, as you're driving. I don't know. Not much can then be hung it covers up here. Up this. this is not an appropriate yeah. coat hook, is all I'm saying. <clears throat> no, I don't think uh, it is. Either. And now you can't use the the standard headrest hook, and like I do, like stick it here. You can't do that. So, 
I guess, you know, they don't do dry cleaning if you're a Mercedes person. <laughs> no, you just throw it away and buy another. Yeah. You Maybe you could hang it from these here. I would hang it from this, from the post here. Cause mm, I don't... I'd be afraid uh, because uh, some of this material doesn't like uh, up there at the top. It isn't on that. Under here, maybe, but hmm. I would hang it from here because I wouldn't know hmm. where else I, to stick uh, it. Yeah, but it I think is you spacious. Could save money. You could save you could, money. Yeah, that, that's pretty. That. That's not going to be useful. Yeah. But yeah, this is very spacious. Yeah, this is like a limousine. It's beautiful. Yeah. Maybe Eric will take us for a ride. Who knows? Okay, well, this has been very exciting. Um, mm, I don't think uh, I don't think I could uh, take this. I'm already feeling uncomfortable that I've got my feet on these mats here. I'm sure that I'm sure that I've uh, you didn't already bring your scuffed slippers. them up. I yeah, <laughs> I, I should have worn my slippers. Anyway, yeah, uh, boys and girls, um, <clears throat> or actually, this one would be lords and ladies. <coughs> um, <laughs> Here's a car for you if you uh, if you need to have a limo, <clears throat> and um, and you want people will definitely see you coming with all this bling and whatnot. Um, Sue loves it. I'm uh, I just like to have a ride in a back seat. I guess that'd be about it for me. So it's a luxury experience. Would you buy it? No, but I, I like it. Oh, I like all it. Right. Okay, so your next husband can get you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I heard that we're, we're doing a couple more of these things, so uh, uh, we'll be up for, uh, uh, up for the review of whatever's next. I think it's a Kia. So anyways, thanks a lot, and we'll see you. Have a great day. Bye. So what do we got down here? Some kind of button, and I can't really make out the symbol, but let's just see what this the, it's oh, the, oh, there you so, go. So that's for opening it. The, yeah, I wonder the if this closes it as well. Yeah, so close it now. Ah, look at that. Multi position Jeez, deck what? lid closing. Oh. You know it, what? This is save a fortune in bungee cords. Just <laughs> it's, think of it. Think of it. Infinite uh, position. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For the kid that, you know, you got to try and coax them into. What a great idea. I would think more, this would be more akin to, uh, you know, a standard car. An SUV, really maybe. I you. can't, I don't know how I practical think that's going to be bungee for, cord a, anything. for this owner of this type of car, but I, I, I like it. It's clever. Oh, and you can control where you want Yeah, exactly. It's infinitely adjustable. Yeah. yeah. Wow.